what is happening what is going on you are all a bunch of legends if you're watching this video uh yeah what i'm going to do in this video is we're going to create realistic tiles so i'm going to show how easy it is to do and yeah then you can customize it you can yeah you've got tiles and i'll upload this to the patreon like i normally do to the materials and the scenes that i create and yeah hopefully you enjoy the video make sure you subscribe if you get some out the video i would really appreciate that i'm just going to delete the camera we don't need it so the first thing you want to do is go shift a and we want to get a plane yes so let's scale it up something like that and let's go to shading hit new and let's go here so you can see what you're working with click there and disable that now shift a we're going to get a brick texture so brick texture and if you plug the color into the base color you can see we've got something like this so it doesn't look like tiles it kind of looks like bricks but we'll fix that it's pretty easy so i'm just going to drag this up so we can see a little bit better and something like that then first thing you want to do is go here to offset and make it all the way to zero now it's going to look a little bit better and then you want to go here and make this one and make this one so we've got something like that now that's what you want now you can play with the scale something like that and let's make it something like 10 so we've got something looking like that and this is starting to look a little bit nicer it's starting to look a little bit more like tiles and then what you want to do is you want to play with the mortar size so 0 0.05 is pretty nice it gives you a nice little bit of thickness and let's make the scale something like like 40 and you got something like this this is looking a little bit nicer and it looks yeah i think it's looking pretty good so far you could probably get away with if you didn't want something so detailed you could probably just use it as is and it will you probably get away with it but let's make it look a little bit better and then the mortar smoothness just bring this up a little bit to somewhere like that and it just kind of just makes it look a little bit less sharp which is what we want then what you want to do is bring this brick texture here go shift a and get a color ramp so look for a color ramp and you're going to plug this in there and then what you want to do is you can see if i go to like a top view and you bring this in kind of increases the tiles like that and you can change your color so you can click here and you can bring this up and you can find something like a blue something like that and if you want to bring it up all the way it looks something like that but you kind of want to make it look a little bit natural so something like that looks good and then what you want to do is hit plus this adds another one then what you can do is you can click there so you can see it's adding more click there and we can change this color now so something like that and you can get something like this you can bring this darker and then you can hit plus one more time boom bring this one here and make this one completely dark so all the way down and it just adds a little bit of like diversity to the the scene you know what i mean if you bring it here it makes more if you bring it there it makes less something like that looks pretty nice then what you want to do is bring this here bring this here and go shift a and get a mix rgb node so mix mix color and plug it in there and then what you want to do is plug this factor into there and you can see what's happening now now what you can do is change this color so you can see there it changes that which is what we want so if I go here to white, it's that, and this looks pretty nice. And then all we, just, all we just need to do now is just get a little bit of bump and yeah, make it look a little bit more realistic. So shift A, and you know we always use bump node for this. Get a bump node, and then take the color from your brick texture and plug it into the height of the bump node. And then you guessed it, normal, into the normal. And you can see there it's starting to look a little bit nicer. Look how nice it's starting to look. And then what you want to do is go shift a and get a mix color and plug this in there and shift a and get a noise texture and put this here and then plug and then plug this color into there and then what you want to do is bring the detail up something like that and look how nice that's now starting to look you can see in there starting to get a bit more detail which is what we want and it's starting to look pretty nice and then you can bring the scale down to somewhere like 1.5 is good then what you want to do is bring the strings down to somewhere like that and just bring this up a little bit something like this and now if i zoom in you can see how nice this looks 
And then what you want to do is plug your mix color into the roughness of the principal BSDF. And there we go. And you can see there, that's basically what the, what it looks like. And then, yeah, you can see there, if I bring this down, it makes it look a little bit better. You can see, you can still get those nice kind of bumps. And this is what you want. So I think this looks pretty good for tile material. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll upload this to the Patreon. You can always adjust the colors like this. But once you've created this, it's pretty much set up. You can always add different kind of things. You can always adjust it pretty easily after that. Once you set up, like I said, the, the initial stages of creating the material. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Check out Blender Kit. Link in the description. Check out my Patreon. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like the video, do all those YouTube thingies. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.